right, fellas and girls, I'm sitting on this bench in this park so I could help the kids and the moms and dads and give them wisdom. They got problems, I'll try to help them out because I'm older than them. You need advice? Uh, what yeah. Are you, yeah. What? What's your problem? Um, what are acorns made out of? I have no idea what they're made out of. Wood. It's just wood. <laughs> wow, that's great. Grandma, I do want to ask you a question because I have two kids, and it seems that nowadays time goes, time flies. And I remember when I used to be 20, now I'm double that age. Did you ever took time to just enjoy the moment or did you always thought of the future? See, that's, I think, one of my big issues. No, you don't it? worry about the future. It'll come along, it'll come its way. I need some advice getting along with my brother. What about if you were, don't talk to him for a couple of days and see what he does? That's what I do and then he just comes and annoys me. Oh, that isn't nice. I wouldn't like that myself. I'm a sophomore in high school and I'm really nervous about what I'm going to do after high school. It'll come to you. You've got a, two more years yet. It'll come to you and you're going to say, why did I worry? What would you like to do after high school? Well, I would like to become an architect. That's like kind of my plan, but I don't really know if that's really set out for me. Like I might need a backup. You're young and you're going to do good because if you like what you're doing now, you're going to like it later. Yeah, you will. Thanks. They'll come right to you. you got to follow your dreams. My problem is that somebody I've been friends with for a really long time started to not really be a good friend anymore. So, yeah, I know. I need advice on how to end the friendship. Don't have a friend that is not very, that doesn't make you very happy because you want to, there's a lot of other ones out there that you could be friends with. I'm just worried about it because I've been friends with them for so long. Don't worry, everything is going to work out all right. And next time I see you, you're going to tell me you're happy. <laughs> Thank you, Lil. <laughs> Thank you for the wisdom. I just gave a lot of wisdom on this bench, and I hope I did it right. And it was good to see those people. I like helping people out because I am older than them. And maybe I'm smarter than them. I have no idea. Thank you for watching. And I love you guys. Stay healthy and God bless you all. Hey, you guys. Hi, fellas and girls. So to close out the video, because the bench video was pretty short, Ooh. I wanted to just share some information with you. So as you know, the holidays are soon approaching and the relatives you haven't seen in a while are coming to town. And you might notice some signs of aging that may concern you with these relatives that are coming to town. And we're here to tell you today some warning signs that kind of show when someone is ready for home care. And as you know, we work with Synergy Home Care to spread awareness about the service because it seriously is life-changing and for those that need it, it could really help them and even save their lives. So right. we're going to tell you five warning signs that your loved one will benefit from home care. Sign number one. The refrigerator and cupboards in their house are bare and there's nothing for them to really eat. Sign number two. Your loved one doesn't have much to talk about and is very quiet. And this is an effect of spending too much time alone, which can lead to loneliness. Sign number three. Hygiene and wardrobe. So if your loved one is not changing their clothes, and it seems like they might not be showering. Sign number four. Is there damage on their vehicle? Driving can be not only dangerous for themselves, but dangerous for others too. Sign number five. Overall health is declining. Is your loved one showing signs of aging? Like, do they have memory issues? Have they experienced other health-related issues? This might be a sign as well. So if you didn't know, Synergy Home Care can provide your loved one with caregiver support, whether it be three hours a day, 24 hours out of the day. Just a little bit of care can make a huge impact on your loved ones and also give you peace of mind when you don't have the ability to visit them often. Do you exhibit any of these signs? No, I'm not No, good. she's good. She's I'm good. good. I'm, I she's keep good. myself busy. Yeah, she takes care of herself. But you best be warned, Grandma, that if you start showing any of those signs, I'm going to call up Synergy Home Care and someone's going to have to come over here and help you out That's and hang right. out with you. That's right. PSA over. If you think that your relatives can benefit from Synergy Home Care, click the link down in the description. It will help you out and find out more information because I truly believe that Synergy Home Care could really benefit your relative if they need the help. Thank you for watching. So long. I don't want Peace you to out. say goodbye. So long.